welcome in the channel like Swagatam. So today as usual we will be continuing the MCQs of MRI. We have already seen two sessions that is part 1 and part 2. In the part 1 we have discussed 10 questions along with a brief explanation. In the part 2 it was a remaining 10 questions of MRI and today we will be seeing the remaining 10 questions of MRI with a brief explanation. Uh, so, this is the part 3 MCQs of Magnetic Resonance Imaging. Moving on to the 21st question. The most common design configuration for clinical MR scanners is Option A, open bore superconducting. Option B, closed bore superconducting. Option C, open bore permanent. And Option D, is bipolar electromagnetic. The answer is option B, closed bore superconducting. So let's see the explanation. Over 90% of MR scanners are of closed bore superconducting. Moving on to the next question, question number 22. The direction of the main magnetic field that is B0 in a cylindrical closed bore scanner is option A, longitudinal along the main axis of the cylinder. Option B, horizontal, crosswise to the cylinder and parallel to the floor. Option C, vertical, that is crosswise to the cylinder and perpendicular to the floor. And option D, can be at any angle depending on the gradients are turned on. The answer is option A, that is longitudinal along the main axis of the cylinder. So, the direction of the main magnetic field B0 in a closed cylindrical bore scanner is longitudinal along the main axis of the cylinder. Moving on to the next question, question number 23. Which of the following statements about superconductivity is correct? Option A. All elements can become superconductivity if the temperature is low enough. Option B. Only metals can become superconductors. Option C. The magnetic field is zero inside the center of a superconducting wire. Option D. Is the resistance of the wire linearly decreases towards zero as the temperature falls below the transition temperature. The answer is option C. The magnetic field is zero inside the center of a superconducting wire is the true statement about superconducting among these options. Moving on to the next question, question number 24. The superconducting component in the main winding of nearly all clinical MR scanner is an alloy of option A, niobium and titanium, option B, niobium and copper, Option C, nickel and titanium and option B, nickel and copper. The answer is option A, niobium and titanium. So, the superconducting component of a main winding of nearly all clinical MRI scanner is an alloy of niobium and titanium. Moving on to the next question, question number 25. The temperature of liquid helium is approximately option A. 4 degree Kelvin, option B, 0 degree Kelvin, option C, negative 4 degree Kelvin and option B, negative 400 degree Celsius. The answer is option A, 4 degree Kelvin. So, let's see the explanation. The temperature of liquid helium used to cool the magnet main binding is just a few degree above absolute zero. That is above 4 degree Kelvin. Moving on to the next question, question number 26. MRI facility often display a sign on the door that says, Warning, the magnet is always on. The sign would not strictly apply to A. Option A, recessive magnet scanner. Option B, permanent magnet scanner. Option C, superconducting magnet scanner. And option D, the sign is applicable to all type of scanners always. The answer is option A, recessive magnet scanner. So the, mag the sign which do not strictly applies to a recessive magnet scanner. So let's see the explanation. All permanent magnet and superconducting scanners 
remain at full strength at all times. Moving on to the next question, question number 27. Specific abs absorption rate. Option A defines the radiation level that can be safely absorbed by the body. Option B measure the ter thermal effects of radiation for a brief amount of time. Option C represents the R of absorption. R of means radio frequency absorption rate in body tissues. And option D is all of these. The answer is option D all of these. So the specific absorption rate defines the radiation level that can be safely absorbed by the body. Will measure the thermal effects of radiation for a brief amount of time. Represents the R of absorption rate in body tissues. To the next question, question number 20. SNR is proportional to SNR means signal to noise ratio. Option A, slide thickness. Option B, FOD, that is field of view. Option C, matrix size. And option D, all of these. The answer is option D, all of these. That is signal to noise ratio is proportional to the slide thickness, field of view, as well as matrix. Moving on to the next question, question number 29. This describes whether it is true or false. That is T1 increases with magnetic field. Option A, false and option B, true. So the answer is option B, true. That is T1 increases with magnetic field. For protons in molecules with intermediate or low mobility, however, shifting the magnetic field to a higher value may significantly decrease the fraction of these protons able to interact at a new or a higher lama frequency. As a result, T1 will increase as field strength increases. Moving on to the next question, question number 13. A spin echo is formed by option A, reversing the direction of V0, that is main magnetic field. Option B, flipping proton direction by A, radio frequency pulse. And option C, is applying a negative magnetic phase gradient. The answer is option B, flipping proton direction by A, radio frequency pulse. With that, I am coming to the end of today's session. Hope you are clear with today's session. Uh, as, you, as I always say, if you like my all my videos, please don't forget to share among your friends, colleagues and please do support me by subscribing and enabling the bell icon too so that you will receive the notifications of all the videos I am uploading and I am having few of the WhatsApp groups that is uh, the first group is for radiographers coaching. Those who have preparing for any exams can uh, join this group. The next group is for NHS interview special that is we will be discussing the UK interview questions. Then comes the FCPC UK registration group and if you have any queries you can ask in the group or you can come personally. Then comes the CORO that is CORO is the registration for Ireland and then the CMRT that is Canadian Association group that is uh, certification exam group is also there. Those who wish to join any of these groups can WhatsApp me. I'll be giving my WhatsApp number as well as my email address in my description box. So patiently wait for my next upload. Sunday is the day I used to upload my new videos. So stay tuned till next Sunday. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye bye.